Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I am shot like this is the first qualifying round. The game today is between Du Nuvas and Kanishka the first. Du Nuvas is aggressive and financial and Himyar starts with mysticism and agriculture. Kanishka the first is spiritual and imperialistic and the Kushan Empire starts with mysticism and hunting. Here is the starting position of the Nuvas. Let's get the research bubbles on. We see him next to a river. There is sheep. There is some fish out here. There is iron, some spices, stone, corn, <laughs> coal out here, and also some corn, more corn out there. He starts here on the southeastern part of the starting continent. Kanishka of the Kushan Empire starts over in the west next to a river. There are a couple of fish here, there is some sheep, some silk, another sheep, some corn, and there is also some iron here in the close to the starting position. So let's get this game on, shall we, to see what happens. We are going to see the first qualifying round game between Dunuvas and Kanishka the first. Different religions already do Nuvas in Hinduism, Kanishka the first in Buddhism, one city each, two cities, two Nuvas, two Nuvas first to two cities, and two Nuvas first to three cities as well. So he has a slight edge in number of turns there. Four cities, two Nuvas was first to four cities as well, and he's first to five, but uh, Kanishka follows up just a few turns after, so they are Kanishka first to six now. Suddenly Kanishka was first to six cities, Kanishka is cautious with the Nuvas though, six cities each. And going now for monarchy, the Nuvas, while Kanishka is on mathematics, the Nuvas is a little bit stronger than Kanishka. But uh, Kanishka the first is now pleased with Dunuvas and eight cities Kanishka now. So to eight cities Dunuvas is still on six, both of them getting calendar. And Dunuvas is getting Kodolos after that, turn 160. Eight cities Kanishka the first, six cities Dunuvas. Will they go to war or will they cooperate a bit and try to go towards astronomy to settle the new lands? We see that could be important here on this map due to the starting continent not being the biggest. Kanishka the first goes towards feudalism, divine right for the Nuvas. Machi uh, machinery next. Still six cities to Nuvas, nine cities now Kanishka the first. And engineering next, next for Dunuvas is a little bit stronger than Kanishka, despite having fewer cities. Six cities Dunuvas, now ten cities Kanishka the first. This is a difference that could start to make some difference. Eleven cities now for Kanishka the first. And now Kanishka is also up uh, with a higher score. Dunuvas still 1.2 times the strength of Kanishka down, down to 1.1, 11 cities to 6, it looks like Kanishka is evening out the military power soon, he's about to do it at least, getting engineering there, that would help, and both of them going for optics, uh, education for both of them next, after that, 11 cities Kanishka the first, 6 cities Dunuvas, they need astronomy to get into the new world now, Economics for both of them, constitution, liberalism for Kanishka the first. If he did take uh, astronomy, I don't know, but it goes for nationalism. The Nuvas is on cooperation, sprinting press for Kanishka then, 11 to 6. Let's see who can build the city first in the new world. That was Kanishka the first. He has settled the continent in the middle. 13 cities now to 6. So Kanishka the first is getting ahead in the city count. Dunuvas getting gunpowder though, and uh, chemistry next, the constitution for Kanishka the first, on to corporations, 15 cities now, Kanishka the first, and now Dunuvas is weaker than Kanishka militarily as well, 16 cities, 17 cities now, Kanishka, we see a uh, 17 cities, and uh, Dunuvas is stuck on 6, Dunuvas doesn't have astronomy yet, he is getting that now. Can he find some land in the new world to get a few more cities? If not, he probably is going to lose this game here now. Kanishka the first getting rifling. He is slightly stronger than Dunuvas and he has 22 cities versus Dunuvas is 7. So Kanishka the first could now, maybe he's building up for a military attack. 
He's getting military science at least, and Univas is falling behind. But he has founded a few cities in the New World, as you can see all the way to the east there, and also to the south there. But 24 cities, Kanishka the first, to 10 cities to Univas, and Univas down to 0.7 the strength of Kanishka. There is a city that has reached legendary culture already. We are at turn 325, was it? Don't really know who owns that city because I don't know the city lists uh, by heart when it comes to these leaders. So I can't tell you who got that legendary city, but Kanishka the first on 28 cities versus Dunuvas on, well, 12 now then. Going for rifling Dunuvas. Kanishka is getting fascism and 28 cities to 13. Kanishka the first, maybe it was Kanishka that had that city that went uh, legendary. There is a possibility, but Dunuvas is also probably capable of it. I don't really know. Let's just wait and see if anything happens spectacularly. Now Kanishka the first is on industrialism at least. While Dunuvas is on culture and the war is been, uh, there has been a declaration of war. I just saw Dunuvas on culture now, 90% on the slider. He has 14 cities left. Can he win culture before Kanishka overtakes him for a domination win? That is the question. 13 cities Dunuvas now. He is still going for the cultural attempt. With 13 cities and down to 0.3 the strength of Kanishka the first, 12 cities left for Dunuvas. I believe Kanishka the first should have this in the bag depending on how close Dunuvas' third city is to reaching legendary. 12 cities left for Dunuvas. Kanishka the first attacking, trying to win this game, stopping Dunuvas from winning a cultural victory. Stealing away a cultural victory. 11 cities left for Dunuvas now, still going culture Dunuvas. Turn 380, 10 cities left to Nuvas. This is going fast for Kanishka the first. Nine cities for Nuvas. And now he has stopped going culture. He has lost his one of his three cultural cities, which means that Kanishka the first is now going to win domination. It's only a matter of a few turns here to Nuvas down to eight cities now. Kanishka the first is going to win this and go through to the next round. Eight cities left for Nuvas. Kanishka the first going from us media, but there it is. The domination is here. Turn 389, 6, 1969. Kanishka the first winning domination going through to the second round. Congratulations. Kanishka the first declared war in 1934, turn 354, 8-0 in city captures and 35 years and turns later he did win domination in 1969, turn 389. Let's take a look at the statistics. Here we have the graph, Kanishka is the red one here. Uh, that's the score, that's the GNP, and here we see Dunuvas is number one for most of the game until just at the end there. Production, 
Och even until around 1900 where Kanishka went ahead. Food, that was Kanishka from an earlier date. Power, that was actually even all the way until 1900 where Kanishka went ahead. Culture, here we see the Nuvas' cultural attempt, which got an abrupt end right here towards the end. And espionage, pretty even really. Let's go to the demographics tab then. We see do new versus numbers here. We see Kanishka, the first numbers here. 45.7 million population at the conclusion of the game. Top six cities and wonders. Let's take a look at the wonders then. Let's go to the bottom and see that there is one, two, three, four wonders completed in the BC era. Let's go back to the top. The top six cities then, Kanishka has the top five and then Dunuvas has number six. Statistics then, Dunuvas with 13 cities built, five religions, two golden ages, currently on seven towns, six windmills, four workshops and lumber mills. He did build in his cities, 11 granaries, nine lattices and seven theaters and we see the list down to three customs houses. Let's go page down and see a University of Sankor at the bottom there, page down again. And the last building was Versailles and that completes the list of buildings he built in the cities. Let's look at the current units Dunuvas has left. 12 riflemen, 8 workers, 5 grenadiers down to a frigate. He trained a total of 26 riflemen, 16 knights, 15 settlers and spies. 4 frigates, let's go page down. And see one airship at the bottom. Let's get the kills done. Four cavalries, four infantry, three privateers, two frigates, a galleon and a caravel. The losses were greater though. 29 riflemen, 23 grenadiers, 15 knights, all the way down to one settler. So let's go and take a look at Kanishka the first numbers. 31 cities built, 2 religions, 2 golden ages, currently on 42 towns, 36 lumber mills, 27 workshops. He did build in his cities 29 granaries, 25 lighthouses, 21 barracks, down to 4 jails. Page down and we see Broadway is the building that completes the list for Kanishka the first current units done. Go to the top. 102 infantry, 33 workers, 21 tanks, down to one submarine. He did train a total of 34 workers and settlers, 26 longbowmen and archers. Four transports, let's go page down again and see one great engineer at the bottom of that list. Let's confirm the kills then. 29 riflemen, 23 grenadiers, 15 knights, all the way down to one ship of the line. And the losses were four in... <coughs> sorry... Four infantry and cavalry, three privateers, two frigates, a galleon and a caravel. So congratulations Kanishka the first going through to the second qualifying round. Let's go take a look at the victory condition screen. Kanishka the first reached 76% of the land area. Nobody was close to culture. Kanishka built the apostolic palace. Let's go take a look at the cities. Dunuvas has six of them left. Let's sort by population. See that Samhain is pop nine, Aiden and Musa seven, Safar four, Kana and Sabbath three. And we see they are building uh, units, although two of them are boats, and then a lighthouse in Kana. Let's go take a look at the cities of Kanishka the first then. Let's uh, go choose Kanishka the first. Let's click OK. He has 38 cities. Let's click on here and sort by population. We are at the top. Yes, we are. Peshawar and Bagram and Mathura are pop 19. Sagala and Bactra 18. And you see the list. Sanaa is actually very unhappy. And then Kana a little bit unhappy. And they have some problems with health. But apart from that, relatively good. Uh, base food is decent, high 30s and even 40 in Maturadan. And uh, when it comes to base commerce, 87 is good. I believe that may be the best actually. And some 50s and 168 for Bactra, that's good. Um, 
production is good, 105 for Cristo Redentor in Kokand, 34 base production as well. Base production is perhaps the thing that is most important though, but uh, it looks good. Apollo program is being built, ready in 20 turns in bulk. Maracanda Pop 7 is the last city on page 1. Let's go to the bottom. 7, Maracanda, there it is. And Minagara is the first on page 2. And you can stop the video, pause the video and take a look if you want to see all the numbers. Tomorrow is the start of round 2. 10 of the Nobel Leaders League. The first game is the third division game between Elizabeth and Montezuma. Of course, we continue the qualifying games for the Nobel Leaders Cup. And the Cup game tomorrow is Dido versus Christian IV. That will be after the two league games, so from tomorrow and onwards uh, until the end of round 10 of the NLL, there will be three games each day. I am Jot Lag. This has been the Nobel Leaders Cup. I hope to see you back tomorrow, both for the league and the cup games. Goodbye for today.